from the gridiron to downtown Rochester we go where state berths were on the line at the section volleyball championships earlier today at the Mayo Civic Arena. We had an absolute clash of the Titans in the double A title game top ranked Stuartville taking on four seed Cassin or excuse me fourth ranked Cassin Manorville and the Tigers took the opening set that's Joey Stetcher at the net coming up with the block Tigers took set 125 16 second set the Comets leveled the match check out Noel Van Ort bringing the hammer as the Comets take set 2 25 20 but Stuartville showed their medal today fourth set Vorna uh, Van Ort was back for more but Kaitlin Pronzinski is there for the block then on match point again is Pronzinski the Illinois State commit delivering the final blow of a four set win Stuartville beats Cass and Manorville 3-1 going back to state for the first time since 2015. I said, man, it feels like we've never been there. I mean, three years, that's, that almost sounds, uh, it doesn't sound that good, but we're used to being there, you know. Some teams never get there, so I get that part too. But our program is something where we try to get there, and we haven't been able to do it, so this feels great. Super excited. We haven't been here in a few years. I've never been there, so I'm just super stoked, and we're ready to play tough and win that thing. Down to single A, another matchup of top 10 teams in the state. Sixth ranked Mabel Canton pitted against seventh ranked Medford. This one turned into a five set thriller, but it was Medford taking the opening set. Isabel De Leon pokes it to the back corner. The Tigers took the first set 25 14. Second set, they raced out to a two set lead set point. It's Olivia Johnson putting that one away for Medford. They're now up 2 0. Third set, Mabel Canton made their move. Big game from Kennedy McCabe with a crafty move here to give the Cougars the set. Then in the fourth, Mabel Canton tied the match. Set point, it's Peyton Danielson bringing the boom for the Cougs. So we went to the fifth set match point. It will be Medford who's going to the state tournament. Kara Kneifel and Isabel De Leon there on the block. Medford wins 15 to 12 in the fifth set for a state berth. Next, the number two team in the nation, the RCTC Yellow Jackets, played for a spot in the national tournament today, going for the Region 13A championship against St. Cloud Tech. First set, the Jackets set the tone early. Anne Marie Halmosco out of Schaefer Academy pounds that one home. RCTC up early. Later, more Jackets. Such a good team. Great set here for Carrie Rutledge. And good night. The Hive was buzzing. St. Cloud Tech tried to stay in it. Coming up here is Cameron DeHelly, just too strong here for the Jackets. Point Cyclones, but RCTC had the answers all day long. Look out below. It's Carrie Rutledge again, absolutely punishing that ball. Then later, check this one out. Haley Dessner comes up with the kill. There is no D for that. RCTC wins the Region 13A Championship 3-0 over St. Cloud Tech. They advance to the National Tournament. Played November 14th through 16th right here in Rochester. NSIC football. The Winona State Warriors mopped up Southwest Minnesota State in the annual battle for the sledge. The Warriors won 41-13 over the Mustangs, racking up 451 yards of offense. They're back in action next week at home against Augustana for Senior Day. 